It's Friday. We're back. This is Nathan again. Cards gone wild. Hobstadt, Indiana. Got my compadre with me today, Billy. He's our shop foreman. Um, today we're going to hit a few bullet points on um, an enclosure. So installation, um, how to clean it, maintenance of the enclosure, um, as well as how to just simply roll it up. So I'm going to go ahead and let Billy take it away from here. So like Nathan said, we've got a typical 80 inch cart here, 80 inch top on this cart. It's a custom golf cart supply top uh, with their enclosure. This is a custom golf cart supply enclosure also. Very good fitting enclosure. We like these a whole lot. We use this top almost exclusively in our shop also. Uh, what Nathan and I are gonna do, we're gonna roll this down. We're gonna show how we snap this in place uh, right now. And we're gonna go over some maintenance also on it, some cleaning. So. Got a couple snaps here, we, we undid those, we roll it down, and when we when we install these enclosures, we put snaps. Uh, strategically placed, of course, to keep the wind out. Like that there, makes a nice tight fit. Do your zipper here, and you're good to go. Uh, that's your typical installation of your enclosure. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're in the back too. While he's zipping up the back, I'll just kind of show you guys. We install these, we try to keep all the slack out of them, so you maintain um, a nice kind of streamlined look. Um, you got your front balance here, your side balances. That just helps keep the air out of the inside of the compartment um, while you're driving it. Otherwise, you just kind of got a wind tunnel there. One of the other things we're going to talk about is how to clean this enclosure. They're pretty typical. The mud will fly up on your golf cart, get it on your enclosure. What you want to do, you want to use a, a very mild solution of just regular soap and water. Uh, warm water works the best, not hot. The hot water can discolor your clear uh, windshields or windows. Uh, you just want to brush that up, spray it on like a, a pump sprayer. And you want to brush it and you want to rinse it off with water to get all that detergent off there so it doesn't have a buildup because it will actually look dirtier if you get a buildup of it in there. Uh, once you do that, you want to make sure to get that dry before you roll this enclosure up. If you roll it up when it's wet, it will mildew up here, and it will stain, and it will stink, and it, it will just it will hurt your investment that you've done here. It will leave that real hazy look that you get um, just from having all the contaminants still on the plastic. That's right. That's right. So once you have it all clean and dry, the next thing you want to do, you want to store it the right way. So Nathan and I are going to unsnap it again and show you how to roll this up pretty typical way. So one of two ways. If you're by yourself, you can just do it one section at a time. Billy's going to un unzip the back, and I'm going to do the front. Unsnap it here. And one thing we do when we when we roll these up is all this extra material out here. It's obviously not square. You're going to fold it over. You can either fold it in half and roll it, or you can start at the bottom. We prefer to fold them and roll them because it just makes it a lot tighter nicer roll to top up underneath your balances. So if you do have someone to help you roll it up with you, we're going to do it the exact same way. I'll try to stay out of the way here. You're going to fold the extra material over, fold it up this way. You're going to give each other the smile and the nod that you're rolling. It should store nice and nice and tight up underneath your little lance there. Just pull your little snaps down. Snap it together. Tuck it back behind your little lance here. Go curl it back up, and that's nice and sleek, streamlined again. That's your fairly typical custom golf cart supply, 80 inch top again. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, be sure to comment on this post at the bottom, anywhere on Facebook, Instagram, wherever you uh, follow along at. But if you guys don't tell us what you want to hear, then you're just going to hear me run my mouth. And you're probably just going to be like, what is this guy saying? So tell us what you want to hear. Like us. Share whatever you want to share. Like I said, comment, be interactive. I enjoy being interactive, so the more I get from you, the more you're gonna get back from me. Um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, 
you name it, Pinterest. Check it out. You're going to want to follow along with the wild thing. I unveiled that last week. Be sure and follow that. You're going to love what we do there. Have a good weekend.